In terms of eating the bugs, though, um, Beyond Meat plans to lay out 4% of its global workforce. And as we can see, some Beyond Burger, Beyond Sausages. I've never understood why you're so against eating meat, but you want to pretend like you're doing it. Like you're just lying to yourself like a child. You have to. My mother used to tell me I was eating chicken when it was fish. And I started to figure out that these two things taste the same. <laughs> um, but uh, Beyond Meat is cutting 4% of global workforce, saying the layoffs are part of its plan to reduce cost of inflation, prompts consumers to buy less. As inflation prompts consumers to buy less expensive protein. But of course, real protein, Eric Butler. It is a rejection. Like anyone could say it's because of inflation, but it is a rejection of the product because what do you do when it's inflation? You raise the prices. If people are still like people still buy meat, they still buy cheese, they still buy milk, especially in Canada. All this stuff has risen completely through the roof because of inflation. But um, the dairy farmers of Canada don't close down. I'll give you another Canadian example. Schneider's Meat and Maple Lodge don't just close <laughs> down because of inflation. Um, they raise their prices. It sucks. It's the government's fault for the most part, even though dairy farmers of Canada are saying that they want to get emissions uh, down. The beef farmers want to get emissions down by 2030, of course, because they're shills for the government. But you don't just cut people like you don't just cut your company down because of inflation. You raise the prices because people aren't going to stop buying your product when everything is beco um, becoming too expensive, unless your products may be expendable, Eric. Um, if it becomes too um, expensive for me to buy, let's say, I don't know, what's something you don't need? Uh, chocolate cupcakes, some nice hostess chocolate cupcakes. Pringles or something, I don't know. Pringles. I'm If it becomes too expensive, I'm probably going to cut those out. But I'm not going to cut out, you know, meat. I'm not just going to cut that out of my diet because while well, everything else is is expensive it also is it's because people don't want your garbage meat and people don't want to eat the bugs yet i mean i'm sure a lot of liberals will eat the bugs and then a lot of survivalists you know they're getting uh they've got the survival sponsors that eric desperately wants um, <laughs> well we, we could do coffee and they're gonna be like i'll eat bugs i'll survive off anything we could do I have the a, VPN a like that too. Or the coffee or uh, I'd love yeah, a v VPN sponsors are great, by the way. I've had one. I won't shout them out because they don't pay me anymore. But VPN sponsors are just like, just put the code, have the commercial. That's it. It's $3.99 a month. It's, it's great. Everybody yeah. needs a VPN. The problem is, Eric, what if the VPN starts stealing your information and selling that? Um, is that why their prices are so low? We got a problem. We definitely have a problem. That Now, that's a that's a grift and a half right there, which I... I, I guess I never actually thought about, but totally possible and uh, pretty dystopian. Um, as far as <laughs> why aren't they buying the Beyond Meat, Eric? Dude, this stuff. Obviously, we've seen the meme. I'm sure everybody's seen the meme of the like of the way it's like propped up in the supermarket and it's all like sort of sank to the bottom of the case. Um, now, I didn't need any help from seeing that photo to uh, steer me clear of this stuff. But it's always been a joke to me. Like I'm, I'm not even even uh, when I first started seeing, uh, it's not Beyond Meat. It's some, some other weird plant based jerky that I actually just started seeing a couple months ago. It wasn't even that long ago. It's mushroom, I'm guessing. I, I honestly don't know. I didn't even read it. But it's like, dude, they they're really pushing it hard. And to your very first point, I remember thinking about this even being young, because you you remember. We used to have like vegetarian friends. It feels like they have been completely swallowed <laughs> up by, by the um by the green vegan climate extremists. Mm -hmm. Like you could just be you used to just be able to be a vegetarian and you, you would eat, you know, cheese pizza and you know, and you 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 might get like a black bean burger or something every now and then, but for the most part, you just ate, you know, mac and cheese and vegetables and you had a whole bunch of stuff. But now they've gone so far because these people they never know when to quit. The, the feminists, the extremists, they they always can take something that seems like a good idea and drive it completely off the off the cliff. But I said all that to say, I guess your very first point is what even as a as a young kid, maybe a teenager, I don't know. Um, I remember thinking to myself, if you don't want to eat meat, just eat vegetables. You have there's so many you can eat: eat potatoes and carrots and celery and rice and corn. You can eat all of this stuff. You don't have to pretend that you're eating meat and then <laughs> yeah, I gotta be cool. Yeah. And, and, and I actually went to a vegan place in Brooklyn one time. Um, and I got a, 
and you know, I was just going with the flow. I didn't want to be that guy. I was like, yeah, how bad could it be? Right. Um, it was actually pretty bad. <laughs> and I got, um, cheese fries, but it was like all or cashew cheese or something. And you're talking about like, I get that this is a little bit different from the beyond meat, which I've never tried. Wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. Maybe if now Kevin's heart is selling it too, by the way, I don't know if you knew this. Kevin Hart is doing no. YouTube ads selling beyond meat. But anyways, um, with this cashew cheese, which again is a little bit different, but you've got 36 seconds before this stuff turns into a consistency that you want nothing to do with. I mean, it's oh like, God. At, I just, at first it feels like, okay, well, a potato's vegan. So you have the French fries there. And then this weird cashew cheese on top. That's good for like the first two fries. And then as soon as that thing gets even close to room temp, it turns into the, it's like, it's like chewed up bubble gum on top of the fries. It's absolutely disgusting. They should just stop pretending. Um, uh, it's not like there's a, I mean, dude, I, I don't know how else to say it. It's like, dude, you have, you could eat tomatoes and you could, you could get a big salad. How about that? Go get a big salad. A big salad. Yeah. I think the problem is getting protein and well, there's that's, no that's the price you easier pay. way. Yeah. That's, that's you. That's what you signed up for. So stick with it. If you're going to go to, I just don't understand the argument of, you shouldn't consume animal products. Of course, nobody's saying go kill all the bison or the buffalo or whatever went extinct in the in the colonial times, if you will, or the early <laughs> settlers of America. Buffalo but uh, like, how are you going to say that it's not natural to eat meat? Like, you, you can survive without it, bro. Like, sure, you can. But why would you do this? It's the easiest way to get protein protein. 